It's time for the entertainment review here on New Day. Uh, promises to be fun on all levels and educative as well. We're discussing uh, whether Ghanaian artists um, are ungrateful or not. And then there's also going to be news on TV3's uh, reality TV show, Mentor. I have in, uh, joining me here this morning, uh, Elikem, Edwin Elikem, who is an artist manager, uh, former manager of Tulenke, and also Ken Addo, <laughs> head of marketing, uh, media general. You're welcome. Thank, thank you, you, thank you. Turn up, turn up, turn up, turn up. Yeah, you said, oh, why? <laughs> The way I just said it, I just put <laughs> yeah, it out like that. Yeah, yeah. Well, link, link. Yeah. Link. I mean, we are discussing whether, you know, yeah, um, artists, are. artists are ungrateful or not. Yeah. So it's just right that I, I, I brought I mean, it up, it's, right? It's fine, it's fine. Yeah? yeah? Yeah, great. But I hope you're doing well. Yeah, very well, very well. Fantastic. I'm fine. Awesome. I'm good. I, I want us to attack the issue sure. straight up. Sure. I mean, at the end of the day, we still want Ghanaians to take away something, to learn sure. something. So it's not just about us, you know, just talking about it, but they should learn mm -hmm. as well. I want to understand how managers even begin relationships with um, their artists. Okay, thank you so much, and <laughs> a good morning to your viewers. Um, I think um, this thing with managers and artists um, has been something that has been there for a long time, okay? Yeah. Um, the first thing is that managers, before you even decide to work with an artist, you have to believe in the artist. Okay. That's the first thing. So even if the artist is, is not good, you are hearing bad comments, mm. it's up to you to be able to defend the artist in a way that the, the artist is a product now. Mm. You get it. But this thing where artists and um, uh, managers mm -hmm. having this being ungrateful thing, I think yeah. it has come a long way. And it's, it's, it's just right that two, three, or I mean, you guys are always first <laughs> in everything and you're trying to address yeah. it. I think it's, it's really, really important. Yeah, because when you look at the reports, all through, everyone says um, this person was ungrateful, this person was ungrateful. They, um, they didn't uh, acknowledge our support and all mm -hmm. of that. Mm -hmm. So uh, I, I just think that it's right to understand how the relationship mm -hmm. even starts. Mm -hmm. You pick them up from when you see them um, as upcoming artists? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it depends. Sometimes the artist could be already uh, mainstream in the, yeah. in the system and then you pick the artist up. Or the artist could be nobody, okay. but then you believe in the talent, you believe that this person has something. And mm. the thing is that once you believe in the person, the person becomes a product now. Mm. So it becomes something that you are trying to build put together and then sell out there, okay. you understand. Yeah, so basically, that's that's the whole thing. Okay. So you can either get an artist from the beginning, then, yeah. where he's nobody, okay. and then build him, or even get into a point where the artist is, is a mainstream act and then you still want you to, still want to push if you look at someone like Tiwa she has yeah. a deal with Universal Records and all mm, this. Indeed. Yeah, so it's like that, you can get to a point where you still need um, a bigger label to come on board that's or true. another company to come that's on true. board. So. Ken, have you managed any artists before? Um, yeah, <laughs> not not a musician. Oh, okay. What not kind of artist? Um, creative art person. Uh, oh, okay. Somebody who is actually in um, spoken word. Okay. Poetry. Okay. But I have related with a lot of artists okay. in the past years. Okay. Um, I'll say not all artists are ungrateful, mm. but the few who are ungrateful have spoiled the matter. Mm. How you do you see, mean? Um, in different ways and in different forms and kinds and patterns, uh, because of the work we do, we interact with artists a lot and we interact with managers as well. Yeah. And so we see when the artists come into the system, we see how they come into the system mm. and where they get to at a point and then you hear that this person, he's complaining about this or saying this yeah. and eventually decides to leave. Mm. you get it yeah and it comes it comes with a lot of legalities yeah um, i'm sure uh, i don't know if he that. i don't know if he uh, uh signed a contract yeah but if there is a contract then you are going to state the obligations of both parties yeah. and you're going to state the exit clauses and all of that the terms and all that yeah so some people and that i know that mm -hmm. when the artist is coming up and like Charlie, me, me, the five percent self, me, I go take oh. Charlie, ten percent, me, I won't blow. Yeah. Me, I won't get to the top. Charlie, me. Yeah. But when they start seeing the money, when they start, they travel to London. For what bet? <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. and they begin to get to the big platforms and the shows. They realize that oh, it is not even just about that. But there should be money in my pocket. Yeah. So they begin to now react and yeah. say. Charlie, right now the money they give me there, me I no go take home. Let's pay, let's put, and then 
they'll begin to do their own thing yeah. their own way. Yeah. Earlier on, we saw some pictures uh, back here. <laughs> yeah. uh, we saw KY and Yalbeck. Yeah. We saw uh, uh, Stone Boy and Kelvin Boy. Boy. We saw Strongman and, and so, Sakura. Yeah. But they all, the thing also is, we also have to weigh the, the, the stories. Most okay. of the time, we hear the stories of the, as One it were, party. the smaller or the younger yeah. um, artist, as it were. Yeah. But we should also listen to, we should also hear from the bigger artists yeah. or the, the management side of thing and know whether, well, the, the guy or the artist was right to leave mm -hmm. and then they get a tag ungrateful. Right. Or the management was also not doing what they're supposed to do. Okay. And then the artist would feel that way and want to leave. Yeah. That is one. The other part of it is that you also always see if there is a bigger artist signing a younger artist. Yeah. For me, I believe that there will always be a conflict somehow because you are, you are a product yourself and you are being managed yourself. Mm. If you are managing yourself, it's different, but you are being managed by somebody. You are signing somebody under you. If you do not have the proper structure and system mm. to be able to take care of the younger artist, you are going to have conflict because you are going to release music yourself. Yeah. You are going to shoot videos. You are going yourself. to get shows to play. How are you going to? How are you going to also manage the younger artists yeah. who is coming if you do not have the structure? Yeah. So do, these are things that we should always consider. Yeah. But as for the ungratefulness, there is there. It is a word in the dictionary. <laughs> it is a word that is there, and there are artists who are ungrateful. I must mm. say. Mm. Speaking mm. of the structure and all of that, uh, that came up in the Stone Boy, Kelvin Boy mm. uh, issue about the fact that I don't know if it is true, mm. but um, F um, Stone Boy feels that uh, or felt that. Um, the manager was focusing more on Kelvin Boy than on him. <laughs> yeah. I think, you see, as, as he said, if you're an artist yeah. and you're trying to manage someone else, there, there'll be a conflict. Okay. The reason being that um, you're also, un unless there's an exception, unless you're mm -hmm. an artist and then you feel like, okay, let me lay back, I'm not going to do anything. Someone like Samini, probably, I'm working on this person. Okay, I'm not going to do any song anymore. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to do anything. Mm -hmm. And I'm focusing on you. But right. if, if strong one is supposed to drop a song and Sakwadi drops another song the next week, who's mm. going to help with the promo? promo so basically, yeah. I think they just want the artist to tag along and then write on their fame and all that. That okay. doesn't necessarily mean you should sign the person. You mm. understand? Yeah. That is the problem. So you are both products. You are still, you are not done with yourself. Yeah. How are you starting with somebody else? You, you understand yeah, the whole thing, yes. Yeah. So that's that's basically the whole thing. You are not done with yourself. If you are done with yourself, that's okay. Yeah. You can relax and say, now this is what I want to do. I want to help. Okay. people and then bring them up that is basically the whole problem so right that's the, the the main issue with artists signing on another artist yes yes, yes. let's look at um the management and then the artist side mm. as well mm. uh, there, there may be some you know misconceptions and all of that some people just come in and think that um they are just getting to getting into a, a management deal but there may be some different you know yeah. meanings to it can you help us so basically yeah. we have different types okay okay mm. um if i'm supposed to invest the money i can tell you okay this is a record deal i'm giving you a record deal let's say okay. hundred thousand if that's you as a manager yes okay so if you come to the label and we are saying we are giving a hundred thousand record deal we are not giving the hundred thousand mm. it means probably in the in the period of let's say the contract let's say if it's a five-year contract this is the amount of money that has been budgeted to be spent on you basically that's the whole thing and yeah. we have a different one like a management deal there are artists who have their own money Mm -hmm. okay. And then they, they feel like, okay, I think you are the best person. You have the plugs. So I'm coming to you so to that, me. yes, so you help me. So I'm bringing you the money. Instead of me um, mishandling, uh, mismanaging funds mm -hmm. just here and there, I think I'll bring you the money okay. and then work for me. And we have a publishing deal. That mm -hmm. one, you go do your own thing. Because management deal and the record deal, we are part of the production. Mm -hmm. So okay, we make sure yeah. even the song you're producing is commercial enough or it is helping. So we are, we, are, we are helping with both the brand and everything together. It's a full package. But yeah. if it comes to like a publishing deal, mm -hmm. you can just come today and then, oh, we want you to help us with, let's say, promo, how to get our songs out there, distribution and all those mm -hmm. things. So they are different. And the thing is that these artists, when they come on board in the beginning, okay, um, sometimes they, they don't even believe in themselves they don't even think that it would come so quick let's say the fame will come so right. quick so let's say you start working with someone a month or two and then the person realizes that everything is so fine mm. now bear in mind people always want to jump on board when things are sweet 
Sure. That's mm. the whole thing. So sure. when you start listening to stories, you start listening to people who come on, I have this uncle who can help you. I have this right. friend who has this money, he'll help you. I have this person, this person you're it working comes with. All the time. Yes, all this, of pers that this person you're working with, oh, how much does he have? He's not going to help you. Mm. Mm. But when the person was nobody and had nothing, nobody was there. But immediately, so that it's up to the artists to start thinking for themselves. These mm. people are all coming on board now that everything That's is tough. nice. So when it become when it gets to that point, you realize that the artists now make start making demands, forgetting mm. even about the contract. And I think the reason why they forget about the contract is because they feel there are no rules and regulations, which yeah. must stop. Yeah. You yeah. get it. Yes, My question is, do, legal. Yes. do you actually discuss the terms of yes. the contract? Yes. You make sure that yes. both parties understand. Yes, yeah, because you, pen is put on paper. Yes, you give the contract to them for like a month. Mm. My contract was with Tulinke for like a month. We had to go back and forth on percentages over mm. and over and mm. over and over again until he was okay. Right. Before we went ahead. So it means that it took time, took it to lawyers. That's the thing. We always tell them, okay, take your time, give it to your lawyer, whatever it is, understand. If it's, it's, every label is just like a business, okay? We have bigger exactly. businesses, we have small, small businesses. Yeah. If I'm coming on board as a startup label, you don't expect me to invest, let's say, $200,000 or something. Yeah. If it's um, um, Universal Records that Records, is coming, so. yeah, you so understand, you get what I'm trying to say. So it is high time these artists understand that. This thing is a long-term business. Yeah. Trust me, it is not a business that people advise you to do. Because it could take, what if the artist blows in your fourth year? Right. You sign the artist for five years, mm -hmm. and yeah. the artist blows in the fourth year. You can imagine the amount of money you, you spend. Into it, yeah. And it's five years, so you just have one year to make back your, to make some profit. How best would you make that profit? Mm. So it is a business that people even don't like to venture into at all. At like, all, nowadays. Because yeah. you see, mm. well, let me take you back into time and when, you know, there were, there were production houses back in the day, yeah. you've had Despite producing before, you yeah. had uh, uh, um, Agicote, you have Goodies, you have Lisaf, yeah. you have all these brands that went back in the day, the early days of Bookback and VIP and yeah. all of that. They were executive production houses mm -hmm. and these people spent a lot of money. They th Those were the days they paid payola, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. proper payola, you know, for music to be, to be right. promoted and they have all stopped. And now it moved from that generation to uh, somebody being somebody's friend and they they started from school yeah, and I'm yeah, your yeah. friend. Mind you, the person may not know anything about the like industry as business, it were, but exactly. I'm your friend. So we start, we start, we move on from there and gradually you get a hit song and then now he's your manager. Mm. And they learn on the, on, on on the, the street, job, yeah. you yeah. understand, on the job. Now, if you go through a process like that and somebody picks you and you the person is handling you now, you think that oh you have done a lot and blah 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 and all of those things and mm. then you 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 begin to raise your shoulders and say ah me ah I mean the time you start where you did you know that kind of thing yeah, exactly. and so on and so forth these are things that happen uh, Crystal yeah and I, I want to I want to use this opportunity okay to talk to all artists to to remind them that there have been artists before there have been bigger talents before before they are not, they they coming now and so they should learn they should know that every artist is a product mm. and every product has a product life cycle Indeed. and then when you introduce yourself you mature you grow you get to the peak mm -hmm. and then you begin to decline, decline it's, 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 not, it's a natural phenomenon yeah. it will happen to you and so like they say the people who hold you up hold you when you're on your way up you know help you on your way up are the same people you would see if you if you, when you're coming down, coming down and exactly. so you should put out respect it's very key yeah and don't burn bridges mm. yeah. because you see when you do that and you are falling you become a peak you become like you become the biggest artist in ghana like yeah. a sakode or shatawale or whoever yeah and you are you are coming back down the same the same, same. process you would see all of these people so don't burn bridges otherwise you'll be seen as ungrateful yeah you have to respect, and especially, um, as it were, from where we sit as the traditional media and media, it happens. It's everywhere. Yeah. A couple of weeks ago, uh, Yaobek, Yaobek's issue came up, and yeah. everybody was saying he was ungrateful. He was ungrateful. He was ungrateful. Or, uh, he was even crying in the studio. Of course, when they say you're ungrateful, and everybody is talking about you like that in the industry, then it means that you have bent a lot of bridges. And so respect don't burn bridges and make sure you're keeping and maintaining your relationship mm. with everybody if your contract is up with a label and you do not want to renew yeah it's fine you don't want to renew mm. but if it is not up 
and you 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 want to listen to a number of people and they're saying uh, i can do this for you i can help you i yeah. can do this after the label has put you on a on a level yeah then you are going to be ungrateful when you leave so it is just a simple math respect the label respect the, label. Respect the contract yeah. and 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 don't burn bridges don't that's for me that's bridges. that's that's the key. biggest thing it's for you a, yeah because if you do that if you do that mm. you become ungrateful it's a mutually beneficial uh, relationship that you are in okay all right i'll take one last word from elikem before mm. we carry on. i mean the, the thought of the label even considering you yeah you should be appreciative okay. because if i tell you the number of people who send me emails mm. number of people who want to be on board so mm. if 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 somebody i, I asked which men said i think how many people see you in public and then ask you to help them because they know you're you're a star maker yeah. that's bullet so it should tell you that for somebody to say that you I, I i think i want to work with you yeah and it's not easy that consideration alone yeah you should be appreciative of it honestly and i, I think this thing is not helping our industry because this thing really um, kills investor confidence right sure. we keep complaining True. there's no industry there's no industry and then we keep hearing these stories over and over again who wants to bring his money yeah. nobody because we bring it something happens and everybody goes scot free no nothing happens to it we just hear the rumors the artist is ungrateful it's ungrateful what mm. are we doing about it yeah. is there a breach of contract is there an exit clause in the contract then you do what is supposed to be done mm -hmm. and then we move on right and you see so that's basically the whole thing me I'm, I'm pleading with every artist and every man i mean sometimes the artists say that what the uh, manager or what the management promised uh, they couldn't deliver they no deliver. it's a business that we are running exactly we are running a business that doesn't mean that when you come in because the the label has a lot of money you come in and you say that okay um somebody wants you to train on twitter so you should pay five thousand cities that doesn't you, you get what i'm trying to say yeah. basically it's a business so we it's run a with the budget we have to go slowly we have to move according to exactly. plants and everything so, so i'm begging yes, that I'm, it is yes a I'm begging every artist and like <laughs> i mean this thing is not going to help our industry we All need right. more investors into the industry for the creatives and if this thing keeps continuing i mean we'll still be where we are and we've not gotten anywhere Okay, so you've heard it from <laughs> Elikem, uh, Edwin Elikem, who is an artist manager, and from Ken Kenneth Addo, who is the marketing manager uh, at here at Media General. They say respect um, your your management, don't burn bridges, and adhere to the rules and regulations.